Hey, Catherine Kyle here from greenthickies.com. Today is day four of the 28 day leaf system challenge. And today I'm going to be answering the question, why can't I lose weight on my clean eating diet? And this is a question that I get asked all the time. Before I answer that question, I just want to uh, share something that happened this morning. I woke up really early this morning and uh, I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm not exactly a light sleeper anymore. I used to be, but not anymore. But when I do get woken up, if I have a conversation with anyone, like if I say something to my husband like I did this morning, then I really struggle to get back to sleep. It's like I'm awake. So this happened this morning, which is probably why I look tired. But um, I woke up about four o'clock this morning and I lay there for ages trying to get back to sleep. And then the sun rose because it rises so early here in Scotland. The birds started tweeting and then my body is just telling me it's morning, it's time to get up and I thought I'm just going to get up. So it's really early and I, I thought, as I always do, I come downstairs and I weigh myself, usually first thing in the morning, and I weighed myself and I'd actually put on about half a pound and I thought, oh no, and then I realised it was like four o'clock in the morning, so <laughs> that was probably why, because um, my body should still be sleeping, burning off calories, not being weighed on the scales. So I just left it a few hours and then I didn't didn't have anything to eat or drink. I just um, ate and drank at my normal time. So I weighed myself a little bit later than normal and I was about a pound lighter by then. So technically I lost weight, but who knows? I mean, this is just an example of one, me being obsessive with the scales and but more out of curiosity and two, an example of that your weight just fluctuates at different times of the day, depending on what time you weigh yourself and all sorts of things so it's not to be relied on and just the main thing is just don't let it affect your progress just if you want to weigh yourself fine it's good to keep an eye on things just to make sure your weight's not going up that's the main thing but if it does go up slightly then it's not a considerate it's not a concern if it's gone up a few pounds it's not a concern but if it keeps going up and up and up and up and up say if it's going up like you know a few pounds here and then a few more days it's gone up a few more pounds then that is more of a concern you probably have to look at your diet and because something is not quite working out properly so that's my two cents about the scales I did really well yesterday I, I loved my food had my lovely pear and pumpkin salad which was gorgeous that my husband made for me and my lemon meringue pie green pickies which were absolutely delicious and I didn't feel in need of any extra I actually threw another apple in my salad because it was really late and I was so hungry by the time I ate it but apart from that I just I stuck to the diet completely so I'm feeling really good this well feeling proud of myself I'm feeling tired but proud of myself and uh, so back to the question why am I not losing weight on my clean eating diet and this is this is a very common question and I've actually done loads of experiments with this myself but really it just boils down to two main ways in which you can lose weight there's only two ways to lose weight number one is by eating less calories than you burn on purpose so the first way eating less calories than you burn on purpose and the second way to lose weight is by eating less calories than you burn by accident. And that's the only two ways to lose weight. I'm sorry to break it to you, but this, it is a scientific fact that you have to take in less calories than you burn to lose weight. You have to, to lose fat. You can lose water weight to start with. If you start on a detox or a clean eating program and you're still taking in too many calories you can lose water weight to start with but you won't consistently lose weight you know month after month after month and reach your ideal weight unless you're taking in less calories than you burn so all these gurus who tell you eat this clean eating diet eat the paleo diet and eat as much as you like and you will naturally lose weight eat a vegan diet and eat as much as you want and the weight will just fall off eat a raw food diet and eat as much as you want you'll just see the weight dropping off. And this might be true for some people, and but the reason is that they're falling into category number two. They're eating less calories 
than they burn by accident. And if you're not losing weight, it's because you're eating more calories than you need by accident. So what we want to do is not do things by accident. We want to do things on purpose. We want to be purposeful about our weight loss. The, the you know, athletes or models, you know, people who, who need to be really concerned about their weight and about their looks and their, um, you know, eating the right foods, they don't do things by accident. They don't just think, oh, I'll just, I'll, I'll just eat all this food. I've got a big long list of foods that's on the, the allowed list. So I'm just going to eat as much as I like and just keep shoveling it all in and hope for the best. They don't, they're very, very precise about what they eat for a reason. So if you want the same results that they have, you have to do what they do. Now, it's not to say you can't lose weight by accident, you can, and I have done myself. There's been two occasions in my life where I have lost significant and consistent amounts of weight by accident, but the only, reason, the only way that I managed to do this myself was to eat food that was absolutely disgusting or bland and boring and certainly not exciting and that did not encourage me to overeat so I saw food as fuel that, that happened to me on a paleo diet because I don't really like eating meat I don't enjoy it so I just literally ate as much as I needed until I felt full and I stopped but some people who absolutely love meat and they can't get enough of it they will just shovel it all in and they'll think oh I can have as much as I want you know all this meat I'll just keep eating and eating and it just the weight will they might actually put on weight and, and several people do and the same with even a raw food diet um, I've got to be honest with you before I did the leaf system challenge I wanted to set do an experiment so I set myself a different challenge and that was just to eat clean eating food that is on the allowed list on the leaf system just to see if I would naturally drop the weight and it would just fall off because it it is actually it's it's easier not to have to count calories we don't we don't want to have to count calories it's boring it's tedious we don't want to have to stick to a plan it's much nicer just to have a big long list of ingredients and just say have as much as you want anything you know eat all day if you want and just as long as you eat this these ingredients you'll be fine and that that feels more freeing that feels really nice but um, I tried it for 28 days I stuck to it very very strictly I lost a few pounds but it my weight varied it went up and down and up and down and most of the time it just stayed the same I didn't really lose I think it only went down maybe about two or three pounds in the full 28 days so I was disappointed at the end of it but I was really glad in the same way because this is exactly the reason why we developed the leaf system which is a calorie controlled diet because I have had this frustration and you might have had this frustration and is it something that you have experienced yourself that you have you've stuck to a clean eating program and you just haven't lost weight because I know so many people that that's happened to and this is the reason why I wanted to make a calorie controlled healthy eating plan because at the moment, the way I see it, there's only two types of eating plans out there. One is the calorie controlled, unhealthy, fatty diet that people don't feel good on and they, they're certain, certainly not going to want to stick to that for a long time to drop all the weight they need to and just because they, it makes them feel really good. And um, the second type of diet is the, yes, the food's very healthy, but people seem to have this tendency of saying eat as much as you want calories don't matter we don't do calorie counting here we just eat whatever we like we like as long as it's one of the healthy foods which is yes it's it's good for your body yes it's healthy and we really really care about being healthy but it is very possible to eat this healthy food and still be overweight which is is not healthy to be overweight so we do need to to get into a healthy range with our weight and I'm almost there now and I am going to do it this time. I'm going to prove that if I take in the right number of calories that I will lose the weight. And it, your hunger is actually a sign that you do need to eat more. So you don't need to blindly stick to a calorie controlled diet. But if you try and stick to a base level of calories like the leaf system, and then like I was saying the other day, if you just add in the snacks but only when you get hungry, 
don't eat them if you're not hungry because your body doesn't need them. It's a, it's a signal to you that if you're hungry, then you do need to eat something, but you don't need to stuff yourself. Don't have a big mountain of food, just a small amount, just to fill yourself up. And the same when you're eating your meals, if you feel like you're full up halfway through, just stop because that's a sign that your body has had enough. And that's, that's the, the real way to lose weight. But I don't know if you're like me or not, but I am the kind of person that I don't always recognize when I'm full. I don't recognize when I'm real, like at the start of hunger. Sometimes I have to wait till I'm starving and I just a switch goes off and I'm I've just all of a sudden I'm starving and I have to eat because maybe I'm not so good at listening to my body yet but I don't know when I'm full either so I could just eat a dinner like a, a dinner that I really love I could eat it four times over and I just wouldn't I, I, I wouldn't feel I might feel a bit uncomfortable in my stomach but I would enjoy it you know I would, that's the kind of person I am I just love food I love eating I love the taste of food so I need, I need some kind of restriction in my life to be able to be at my ideal weight and to lose that weight. And are you the same way that you need some kind of restriction in your life? And if you do, then I think the leaf system is perfect for you. And just give it a go for 28 days and see how you feel. And at, at the end of it, I think you'll be amazed because you do actually start to, your, your stomach shrinks, you need less food, and you do actually feel a bit more natural about eating again. You don't have those awful cravings. So anyway, that is uh, gone on far too long for today. So um, thank you so much for listening. And I, I really hope that's helped you to see why it's still, calories do still matter. Oh, and there's, there's sorry, there's one more thing that I just wanted to say was, um, yes, calories matter, but the only way to really consistently lose weight is to one calorie count, or two and two eat healthy food because if you calorie count but eat unhealthy food then you're actually doing your body damage and you're actually causing your body to uh, go into shock mode and store extra weight so um, going on fatty diets and sticking to them exactly this is the reason why a lot of people don't lose weight is because it's actually harming your body so much that your body is developing problems which are making you unable to lose the weight so that's, this, that's why fatty diets don't work either. So the only diets that work are the ones where you're eating healthy foods that are nourishing your body, healing your body, and boosting your metabolism, getting it back to where it should be. And also, they're less calories than you need. Not necessarily the same as everybody else, but just less than you need. So that's why it's, it's really important to, to eat if you're hungry, but still don't keep on overeating. So I hope that's helped you and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.